said back for the central government the supreme court collegium today reiterated its earlier proposals of elevating gay advocate saurav kirpal as a judge of the delhi high court and advocate soma sekar sundaresan as a judge of the bombay high court the center had significantly returned the proposal to appoint gay advocate saurav kirpal as a judge of the delhi high court based on his openness about his sexual orientation the center said that it apprehends that given his attachment to the cause of gay rights it cannot rule out the possibility of kirpal's bias and prejudice it has therefore referred the proposal back to the collegium for reconsideration however disagreeing with the center and reiterating kirpal's name the supreme court collegium comprising cgi dy chandrachur and justices k m joseph and s k call said and i quote here the fact that mr saurav kirpal has been open about his orientation is a matter which goes to his credit as a prospective candidate for judgeship he has not been surreptitious about his orientation in view of the constitutionally recognized rights which the candidate espouses it would be manifestly contrary to the constitutional principles laid down by the supreme court to reject his candidature on that ground the proposal to appoint kirpal has been pending for over 5 years the recommendation was unanimously approved by the collegium of the delhi high court on 13th october 2017 and approved by the supreme court collegium on 11th november 2021 The Supreme Court Collegium agreed that it was advisable for Kirpal to not speak to the press in regards to the reasons which may have weighed in with regards to the recommendations of the Collegium being sent back by the Centre for reconsideration. However, it added that Kirpal possesses competence, integrity, and intellect. Another reason cited by the Centre to return the proposal is that Kirpal's partner is a Swiss national. The Supreme Court Collegium however noted that there is no apprehension that the behavior of Kirpal's partner has any bearing on the national security and accordingly underscored and I quote here there is no reason to presuppose that the partner of the candidate who is a Swiss national would be inimically disposed to our country since the country of his origin is a friendly nation many persons in high positions including present and past holders of constitutional offices have and have had spouses who are foreign nationals hence as a matter of principle there can be no objection to the candidature of shri saurav kirpal on the ground that his partner is a foreign national similarly while reiterating its last year's recommendation to the center to appoint advocate soma sekar sundaresan as a judge of the bombay high court the supreme court collegium today said that sundaresan's views on social media cannot be used to infer he is highly biased and an opinionated person emphasizing that expression of views by a candidate does not disentitle him to hold a constitutional office the collegium stated and i quote here all citizens have the right to free speech and expression under article 19 clause 1 sub clause a of the constitution expression of views by a candidate does not disentitle him to hold a constitutional office as long as the person proposed for judgeship is a person of competence merit and integrity the center's objection was that sundaresan had aired his views on social media on several matters which are the subject matter of consideration before the courts however reiterating advocate soma sekar sundaresan's name the collegium said and i quote here the manner in which the candidate has expressed his views does not justify the inference that he is a highly biased opinionated person or that he has been selectively critical on the social media on the important policies initiatives and directions of the government as indicated in the objections of department of justice nor is there any material to indicate that the expressions used by the candidate are suggestive of his links with any political party with strong ideological leanings The Supreme Court Collegium added that advocate Sundaresan has specialized in commercial law and would be an asset to the Bombay High Court which has a large volume of cases of commercial and security law among other branches. Thank you. Amaratra Kabhomik for Live Law. Keep watching Live Law for more such updates.